forgive me, but if you hate it so much, why not take the repatriation? This is my home now. It's not any and anybody taking me out of here. But you keep you saying... You know how hard I work to get where I am now? What did mistress of this house? But you make the Caribbean sound like paradise. Mm -hmm. But this is my paradise now. This is it. But surely, if Child, you were you're definitely living in some kind of fairy tale. But you'll learn. I believe in fighting for what I want. And when you have no fight left, I came here on a boat convinced I was sailing for a whole new world. Then tell me opportunity, wealth, prosperity, all them things them tell us. When I step off that boat in Liverpool, I don't know what hit me first. The frost biting off my face or the bitter cold glare from all of them dearer. I wanted to turn on my heels, I just knew. Don't ever go to that place you hear. It's wicked. Mm. There's one woman tell me about Cardiff. She said, the coal go out, so the ship go out and take plenty people when we were gone. I remember the first time I stepped foot in a butte town. <laughs> it felt like I'd arrived home. The people here, the work, the spirit of the place. It wasn't half bad. So we decided to stay. Then Gregory went off to war and that was that. We settled down here now and them don't like it. There's nothing for me in the Caribbean anymore. My friends, my family is all right here. If only they just leave us be. I've never left Cardiff. Never had a reason to. <laughs> Child, you left Cardiff the moment you stepped foot in a butte town. Those are Caribbean streets out there. Is we make this place? It is quite different. <laughs> You don't know these streets. It's party, party you see here. You don't see Miss Innes. She's one woman on her own, cooking 20 fish in the morning to feed the man them as them pass. And she don't stand out on the street, you know. She open her door and the man them go in and eat till them belly full. And Miss Henry is the same. You don't see the real parties round here. Fifty people in a one house, the food, the drinking, the dancing. <laughs> you don't see all of that. <laughs> you have the same thing where you are, dear. We don't have too many parties, but there are plenty of dancers about mm. town. So how you find yourself here? Rafa brought me. First time. I was quite scared. Always been forbidden to come under the bridge. Why? What's wrong with under the bridge? Well, you, you... You've said it yourself. I've no business here. It's deemed unsafe for white women. White women trail these streets all night long and make it out of here alive. It's the men who are scared, not the women. People fear what they don't know. The only thing them fear is not finding a decent job because we're here working hard and doing well. That's what all of this is about. They mad to see us make a way for ourselves. Especially our men with white women, which is why you beat up so. How can you blame them? What? For being mad. They were promised the earth for their service in the war. And they've come home to a worse situation to when they left. They're angry. I'm angry. But you don't see me running around the streets looking to mash up somebody. We didn't make them those promises, so why they turn on us? Because if you weren't here, there'd be enough jobs and accommodation for everyone. Is that so? I didn't mean it That's like exactly that. exactly what you meant. Rose. You see how you're coming here? A wolf in sheep's clothing. That's not true. There are two sides to every battle. I didn't say I agreed with it. I was just stating a fact. 
You say I live in a fairy tale. You're just the same, hiding away from the truth. You better stop before I start a mini riot up in here. Then you'll be no better than them. How dare you? Oh, why are you so surprised? All you've done is abuse me since I was thrown in here. For what? You've done nothing to them out there, yet all they want to do is beat you. I've done nothing to you, yet all you do is threaten to beat me. So I dare say you're just like them. They did this to me because I refused to leave. I stood up to those four men. So don't you think I won't stand up to you? Beat me. If it makes you feel better, it won't change a thing. Don't open your mouth in this house again. Why do you hate me so much? I hate all of you. This is my house. I didn't invite you in here, and I don't want you here. And that's exactly what they're saying about this country. But we're here because you're there. You've made yourselves real comfortable in the Caribbean and hooked us into this hell. So what foolishness are you talking? Is enough of our men died fighting for this country that should be living well in the Caribbean? Not dead and buried. Rose, if I could do oh. anything... Raphael? <laughs> Raphael! Is that you? Oh, Betty, Neymar? Bessie did the gritty tea. Daddy God, let her go. Did she do this to you? No! Don't be scared. You can tell me. Vaughn! She didn't do it. A group of white men broke in here. They beat me to the floor and then dragged me down the stairs. The men that came here did this? Yes. <laughs> they never should have touched you. Did you send them? You have no right being here with these aliens, Beth. And Tell me you didn't do this. Where is he? Why, Vaughn? Is he here? What have you done? I sent them to come for you and to teach him a lesson. But now you're here and he's... Did they take him? <laughs> Tell me where he is or I'll cut your throat. Oh, you're behaving like an animal! Come on. We've got to get you out of here. They're closing in on this place. It is not safe. You! Over there by the window where I can see you. You stay there and you don't move. Bethan. I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. Like hell you are. No! What are you doing? There are men rioting on the streets. I must get you home. I'm staying here. There's no time, Bethan. I know a way out. Oh. Yes? You okay? Mm -hmm. Betan, this man hurt you? Rose, come here. No. Drop it. Now what is going on? He's my brother. I don't care who he is when he has a blade in my face. What is he doing in this house? He's him sending the man then to come beat you. Is that so? No. Ah! Oh! 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 Tell him to come. I knew you with him. So, is you sent them in here? Rafa, please don't hurt him. Look at me, Betan. You expect me to let this man walk out of his house? He's my brother. 
And look what him do to you! They never should have touched her. Mm. He's me them come for. You have a nerve. You couldn't come by yourself. Hmm? You have to send four men to fight me one. What you come here for? I've come for my sister. Better. You going with this man? She not going no place. She's living with me. And where exactly do you think you're going? They're closing in on this place. You see them police out there? You think it's us them protecting why they're not letting you through? It's you them protecting from us! Because once you step over these sides, then know we're going to kill every single one of you. <laughs>